running Sheffield United so close today? Yeah, listen, I'm always pleased, uh, especially when you come to Bramall Lane, as you said, Sheffield United run them so close. Uh, I had to chuckle a little bit when there was two minutes to go and they wanted to keep it in the corner and it's a Premier League team, but the character of my lads, to, you know, to go two down, I think the second one, court is a bit cold just after half-time, the great pass through, splitting through the thirds and great finish from a, a striker who scored billions of goals. When you come into these games, you've got to have an attitude about you and you've got to have a professionalism about you and I thought for the majority of the game we, we had that. Yeah, we didn't make it as comfortable as what we possibly should have done and maybe we should have stretched the lead from, from two to three. Didn't do that, gave a poor goal away and, and at the end they've got nothing to lose, chuck men forward and you've got to just see the game out, which, uh, which we managed to do. We ideally wanted a clean sheet but the most important thing was to get through to the next round and uh, get the win and we're happy we've done that and it's just about trying to build confidence and try and put a run together because, you know, we've not had many wins this season. So I think that's three and four, though. So, you know, the lads are a lot happier than we was. So we need to keep building on that. And that's exactly the point, isn't it? Uh, talking about building confidence for Sheffield United. Again, like Brighton, wrong end of the Premier League. And this competition has given them a bit of a boost in recent weeks. And they showcase some good football in their goals. They do. You know what? They, they may get a bad name, Sheffield United, by you know, long ball. They, they play some really good, intricate stuff. They did today. Um, they, they just, they pride, they pride, they pride. They were patient. They go from one side of the 18-yard uh, box to the other side of the 18-yard box, moving the Plymouth defence from side to side, which is very different. And there you've got Basham at the, at the far post, which I think is a very, very good... Look at Billy Sharp there, look, opening up that gap so the ball can be played through between the two defenders, leave the rest to me. I don't know how many times he's done that in his career, but he does it so well. And he's, he's a bit part player at the moment, but he's so important. That's about as clear a put it there as it can possibly be. Just give it to me, strike. give it to me. Um, Chris Wilder um, did say that sort of Plymouth threw everything at Sheffield United towards the end of the game. And Cameron was the man who, who got their goal, but also there was a scare at nil-nil. He, he showed that he was one to watch, didn't he? Yeah, he had a huge opportunity at nil-nil. What I like about it is he's so patient with his run. And Plymouth Argyle, they were building and building, like you said, trying to find their way back into the game. But look, he's waiting for the build-up, waiting for his moment to explode into the space at the right time. And there you have to at least <laughs> test the goal keeper but didn't let it get to him straight here love the pressure dispossessed uh, Lundstrom there and once again timing get on the end of things but at nil nil if he just puts mm. that other chance away different game but for like you said for Sheffield United hopefully that will give them confidence going in because they've got a huge couple of games I think Manchester United mm. Manchester City mm. West Brom and then Chelsea yeah. so a huge couple of weeks for them and their first win in the Premier League this season came on the back of their win in the last round mm -hmm. of the FA Cup one other thing to tidy up because although Sheffield United fans are happy quite a few of them were Finding it hard to understand why this <coughs> incident wasn't a penalty. What do you both think? This is Ampadu with a shot. Yeah. And, and what can we call it a save from what? <laughs> you know what? It's it's a poor effort in the first place because it's going wide. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I don't know why his hands are up there. I don't know why he has to lift his hands up in that situation. Yeah. I, it's, it's, it's it's a pen. It's a pen. Unnatural position. He's saving it. But. Oh, I like that. You're in agreement as well. This is this is lovely. Yeah, and, and he'll be and he'll watch this and I think he'll got away with that one. Well, and, and thankfully, <laughs> it's one of those that didn't affect the Correct. result in the end. So we can carry on because David Moyes is. <laughs>